Well, Anthony, Essex have announced the signing of a bowling coach, uh, Andre Nell, known to quite a few people at Essex. Um, can you just go through the uh, selection process? Because I understand um, we were absolutely deluged with applications, weren't we? Yes, uh, uh, very, very tough. Um, you know, I must say the the applicants we had. Um, you know, we we interviewed. Uh, six in the final phase and it was really really tight I mean some brilliant coaches um, so it was a tough decision but Andre um, you know was uh, the the guy we went with um, you know Essex supporters will know him from his playing days I know him from when he used to bowl at me and uh, <laughs> give me plenty of abuse um, but no I mean joking apart it's great passion great energy um, obviously huge international experience, um, you could see that he, he wanted to really come back and, and make an impact. Um, you know, he's coached over in the IPL and, and, and South Africa as well, so it's great to have him. I'm sure the lads are going to learn a lot off him um, and he'll bring us uh, some new ideas in, so everyone's you know looking forward. Uh, to working with him. Yeah indeed, it certainly brings a lot of aggression uh, to it. Would you expect that uh, some of that could rub off onto the uh, fast bowlers that you've got? <laughs> well we'll see, I mean you know sometimes uh, you know, coaches are slightly different to the playing days but um, you know I think fundamentally someone's personality you can't take that off him and when you speak to him you can see that fire and passion burn inside so I think it'll bring us in something different, probably adds a, a different dimension to us and we've got quite a young bowling group, so I think, um, you know, as you know, we like to bring our young players through, the guys are coming through the academy, so I'm sure they're going to learn a lot from him. And a bowler has to be aggressive uh, on occasions and smart as well, so I'm sure Andre, you know, can, can uh, pass on a lot of his knowledge. Yeah, indeed, because there's work, if you like, just underneath that first team uh, uh, work, work rate, isn't it? We've got people like last season, Jack Plum, Shane Snater, pushing for places, yeah. and it's important, isn't it? Somebody like Andre can bring his experience, and experience is something you can't buy, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, it's been there and done it uh, and, and passing out. And as you mentioned, there are a few. We've got, I think, four or five seamers under 22, which is nothing as an age, so they're all developing at different times. We all think they've got a great future, and I'm sure tapping into someone like Andre can only help. Um, you know, he's really passionate about working with the younger guys as well, not just in the first team down, which is great. Um, and as we've said many times, that's what Essex is about, bringing through our, our younger players and hopefully he can add to that. Yeah. You mentioned you faced him before. Um, any lasting uh, marks on your body? Or <laughs> did, you, uh, did you get on top of him, which nah, helped him to uh, get the job back? I think I played against him a couple of times for South Africa, but uh, for Yorkshire, I think I played against him for North Ants. I right. don't think I played him while I was here at Essex, but right. um, it was certainly never quiet when he was bowling, <laughs> put it that way. Um, I can't remember most of the exchanges, but um, I just remember this yeah, mad guy running in and uh, <laughs> saying uh, stuff after each ball. But we, we, we've had a laugh about it on the phone. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but he's, he's, a, he's a good guy.